determined, outspoken, relentless, passionate, outrageous, brilliant, dedicated, kind-hearted, a true friend. The first time I met Lisa, she had come into a board meeting to do a presentation on a committee, I believe, that she was serving on. And uh, she walked in the room, and I will never forget seeing her for the first time because she was so impressive to me. You know, I have to tell you that all the committees I've been on forever that Lisa participated in, I always assumed, at least after the first hour, that she was in charge of the committee, that she was either chair or the big mucky muck of the committee. And she always ended up doing the right thing. Quality was always foremost, uppermost in her mind. And it was very important for her to, uh, to make certain that the students learned as much as possible uh, in the time that they were there. I think her professionalism is very important to her and that other people be professional as well when they work in clinical matters, whatever they do. She is extremely generous and um, sometimes that's masked by her business persona. Lisa can attach herself to you, mentor you, help shape you, and also allow you to bloom. Prior to becoming a speech pathologist, I believe she was a, a, in law, she was a legal uh, secretary. I actually think that Lisa would have made a great lawyer. And frankly, I, I think, Lisa, if you were the president now, we'd, our country would be smooth sailing ahead. She worked the longest stretch of her career uh, in LA at California State University, Los Angeles where she taught numerous courses, supervised hundreds of students. Her career's been varied. I mean, she's a, a wonderful clinician, she's an incredible supervisor, she's been an incredible professor, and now she uh, brings her considerable uh, expertise to the licensing board, uh, which I think is fantastic. There are two very outstanding things that she has done and would be, I think, recognized for throughout her lifetime and forever for having promoted the um, paraprofession of speech language pathology assistant. And I think she has done that sometimes against great odds. Lisa was one of the most outspoken and uh, vocal uh, leaders in the ASHA Legislative Council. She was instrumental in uh, getting uh, recognition for speech-language pathology assistance at the national level. I think she single-handedly uh, carried speech-language pathology assistance programs uh, at the national level uh, for many, many years and still continues to do so. The second thing that she has done that is probably as equally outstanding is the promotion of supervision as a discipline within speech language pathology and audiology. And that is making sure that there are standards for supervision, making sure that those who supervise our student clinicians and clinical fellows are trained, know what they're doing, and do the right thing. She was an administrator and supervisor for 20 years in LA and uh, she's taught many, many courses teaching other therapists how to be good supervisors. Lisa's influence is still all around in the way that we run clinic and uh, in the courses that we have on our books and uh, in many, many ways. She has given so much of herself to the California Speech, Language, and Hearing Association, to the American Speech, Language, and Hearing Association, and to all of us, her colleagues. I would consider Lisa to be the energizer bunny of professional volunteerism. Uh, Lisa has volunteered for more committees uh, throughout the state and the country. She never says no, and she just keeps on going. Uh, her service to Kasha has been just uh, devoted, and her service to our state uh, now as she's up in Northern California with the licensing board has been also extremely valued. 
Uh, she was, I think, the, one of the longest serving members of the Legislative Council at ASHA. Lisa, when she was the president of CASHA, changed the way our board meetings took place. We went down to two days as opposed to two and a half days. We also decided to go paperless. And we had electronic publications that she wanted to also clean up. She also revised our handbook, which is really helpful for new board members, as well as straightening up our bylaws. She has dedicated so much of her time to volunteering and has received awards for volunteerism, not just in uh, our field, our professional field, but uh, in charitable works as well. Lisa, your good friend and colleague of many years, Bob Douglas, couldn't be there this evening. So he sent along this personal message. It is a pleasure and privilege to congratulate you as you were honored by the association. You were a faculty member at California State University at Los Angeles while I was a chairman of the department. You were the hardest working, most responsible faculty member in the university. You cared deeply about students. They loved and respected you. You have always had the highest standards for yourself, for your students, and for your profession. You have a powerful determination that sweeps away obstacles. Speaking for my wife Lois and for me, you will always have our greatest respect and deepest affection.